Okay, I'd like to do a, um, a quick installation video for those who are struggling with how to install ZenWord. Um, some of the ideas in this video might help you uh, troubleshoot or might help you see how it is that, uh, um, that ZenWord works. So we're going to start with a brand new installation of Zenforo. You can see that um, we've not made any changes. The, uh, we simply hover over this link here and we can see that the main forum is number two. So we want to keep that in mind in, in, a, in a minute. So we can go in to the WordPress dashboard. And we can also see here that there is nothing, uh, nothing uh, already installed. This is just brand new installation of version 3.9.1. So the first thing I'm going to do is just create a category. And I'm going to create this category by going in to the uncategorized and I'm going to edit it. And I'm going to call this announcements. And we'll just simply go like this, announcements. And um, this gives us a, a, a category, which we'll use later. We'll actually want it to write to this main forum. So we're going to go into our application, into Zenforo. We're going to go to our display node. We see right here that the main forum, we're going to go ahead and change that to announcements. Now, when we go into Zenforo, we can see that we have the word announcements. So ultimately, we're going to take the WordPress announcements category and all of those posts will go into the Announcements Zenforo forum. So we have our category set up. Notice I have not installed ZenWord at all. So they're not linked yet. So how do we link them? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and grab our, our files. You would copy them up into the, uh, um, onto your server. So in this case, the server is sitting here. You go into the WP contents, into the plugin, and we're going to paste them, paste it right into here. So now that we've done that, we're going to go back. Oops. We're going to go back to our plugin. We now see ZenWord 1.0.5.02. We're going to click on Activate. And as soon as we've activated, we should now see a ZenWord setting here. We go in to the settings, and we make sure that we like this setting of relative path. Now, this is correct for this server. I also, at this point, happen to like to just go to Post Excerpt. You'll see here the default is 2. We can specify announcements as two. We can come in, we can show alerts, we click on save, and at this point we should be linked. Now, just in case, I'm going to go ahead and visit the site. I'm going to log out, and notice I got rolled over. So everything seems to be working. Just wanted to make sure, because man, that would be sad if it didn't. Next, because we can log in. We'll see that it goes to, when we click on the meta login, notice it rolls it over to the Zenforo. We log in, and now we have our bar across here. So we can see things seem to be working. Then what we want to do is we want to do a brand new te test post. So this is just a test post to see if, uh, CSN Word uh, 1.0.5 is working. And this is just a test post. We're going to set our category to announcements. We could put in tags here, etc., just like we would on WordPress, a normal WordPress post. We publish. We now should be able to view the post. Here it is. And we should see this link that says, Discuss, in our, discuss this in our community. Okay. And there it is. We could then post down here. This is a response. 
post. And we then, when we go to the blog post, we should see that here. This is a response. Okay, then make sure it works on this side. This is a WordPress response. You want to do all of these tests to make sure that nothing's wrong. We then should be able to go into the forum and we should be able to see things. There we go.